I am here to talk to you about femme lesbian struggles or femme queer struggles, any type of struggle if you're femme and you identify in the LGBTQ plus community. So I've experienced some of these struggles or just issues I feel like that have stood out to me. It's um, comments that I've heard from some friends, uh, some family, and even strangers. And to be honest, it's nothing that I take offense to. Well, some of them, <laughs> some of them can be offensive, but it's mainly just like assumptions about femme girls or femme women who like other women. And I'm just here to talk about them and squash those rumors or just like set the record straight. One thing that I've actually heard personally, when I first started telling people and coming out to people and telling them that I was interested in women, a lot of the times people would actually say, oh, you don't look like it or you don't look like you're gay. And to me, I was like, first of all, I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. Like, I don't know what it means to look gay, especially like in today's day and age, I find that the media has depicted lesbians out to be in a certain type of way and femme lesbians actually don't have a lot of representation. And um, I'm hoping that's like starting to change as many popular people who identify as femme or look femme are coming out as part of the LGBTQ plus community. And I think that's pretty amazing because we definitely need more of that representation. Sometimes it just kind of almost makes you feel like you don't really belong or someone's telling you a certain type of thing and then you feel like because you're young, you almost go along with what they say. So I had heard that from a few people, even people that I've dated in the past, um, just kind of saying like, oh, I, I never would have expected you to like women. And um, I, yeah, like I said, I don't think that's necessarily an offensive thing. Like people have a right to say that, but sometimes I also wonder like, okay, then what does that necessarily mean? Another thing that I've also heard is that people always say you kind of look like the type who'd be into men. And that was another thing where I was like, okay. It's kind of funny because I definitely feel like if it's someone I'm very interested in, if it's another girl I'm interested in, I definitely give off like, a vibe. I'm very forward, like if I like someone, they'll know. A lot of girls assume I'm straight, even if I'm at a gay bar, or they'll be like, it kind of goes along with my first point, is like they're so shocked. That, that was just another thing, is kind of having to always come out. And I mean, that, does, that also doesn't just go along with being femme. Like a lot of lesbians and a lot of people who are queer have to feel like they, they need to come out every day. Even this one girl who I was like really interested in for a while full on told me, she was like, I was so shocked to find out you were interested in women. And I just wanted to be like, well, okay, well, obviously now you know I am, but like, why? <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's just something that for a while, like then women will have to kind of deal with that until maybe there's like so much representation in pop culture or in media where it just won't even be a question anymore. Another weird thing I and I hate to hear this all the time is like people always ask especially I find if you're a femme dating another femme girl it's like oh well who's the guy in the relationship and it's like preferably none of us <laughs> yeah it's so strange to me like First of all, that's such a traditional mindset to be like, who's the man in the relationship? Even in a heterosexual relationship, like I get it. Yeah, there is a guy in a relationship and a girl in a relationship, but like those gender stereotypes, that's like, does someone have to be the more domineering one or the more controlling one or the more like the woman is more submissive? I'm just so tired of that stuff. Oh, another thing is when people kind of say, so, I've been on a journey with my sexuality for years. I didn't put a label on myself literally until I think I was 21 when I first came out to like my friends and family. And I started to say like, yeah, like I'm, I'm bisexual. And then over the years kind of just discovered that I am more romantically attracted to women. But a lot of times, and I've heard this kind of like under the radar, but I've 
definitely heard these types of comments is that, oh, she just hasn't found the right type of guy yet. That's why she's going to women. And it's like, nope. <laughs> No, that is literally not a thing. That's not how I feel. Um, I've met a lot of wonderful men and I have had like great friendships with guys and there were, don't get me wrong, there were definitely guys I dated for a little bit where I was like, I was into them. Like my feelings were real, but then there comes a time when there's, you just know it can't go any further after a while. I was like, there's something missing. Why am I not feeling those like, butterflies or like that excitement and it had been for years it's just all of it was so different when until I first started having real true feelings for a woman and I was like this is what that like fun anxiety is kind of about like when you first have a crush on someone you're just dying for them to text you and you even want them to like your Instagram picture like something so silly and little so to set the record straight if I'm coming out and saying I am interested in women and I like women, it doesn't mean that I haven't met the right guy yet. Trust me. I, I actually haven't found this out or I haven't experienced this personally, but I have heard from other people that I've talked to that they have noticed that if they're attracted to more of an androgynous type of woman, so someone who kind of um, dresses a little bit more masculine, that people assume they're just like really attracted to men deep down and are like dating masculine looking women, which is like... What the hell? <laughs> what? So maybe this isn't actually even like a femme lesbian struggle, um, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. People who I've dated or I've been interested in haven't always been girls that I've uh, really wanted anything serious with a woman. And it's also kind of my, it's not on them. It's just for me with a, there was probably a couple, maybe, yeah, there was like two who I was like, oh, I would have really, really wanted to actually like pursue something with this person because, um, I don't know, I just felt like a connection with them and it, to me it wasn't just like a fling, it was actual like feelings. Oh my God, literal feel, I was like so in my feels with a couple people for sure. Sometimes I was thinking about it as well and like why I maybe wasn't meeting a lot of girls who are very like fully interested in women and I was like is the way I kind of like come across I don't I don't know and I think at the end of the day I just I, it's on me and I need to put myself out there more but then it also came along with the lines of like do I give off the experimental vibe which is just so not true it's like quite the odd it's actually the opposite. I wanna like date you, like let's move in together, let's get married. No, I'm just kidding, that actually sounded insane. If I'm very interested in someone, I will like, I'll want to pursue them. If anyone has any questions, I'll link my Instagram in my bio below and um, you can DM me. If you, yeah, like, I don't know, DM me if you also have some femme, queer, or lesbian struggles that you that you related to in this video, or yeah, you just wanna talk. I'm always here. I am I love hearing other people's stories and also hearing that we kinda have the same, like you're not alone in the situation because sometimes the community is so small as it is. At least that's how I feel sometimes. And it's really refreshing to hear other people kind of say like, oh, I've been there. Like I've totally been, been through what you're going through currently. And like, don't worry, it's all gonna be okay. Anyway, if you liked this video, please um, show me some love. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this, because I promise you more content is on the way. And yeah, I will check back in with you guys later. I need some air conditioning. ASAP, someone send me some good air conditioning, please.